Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. First things first, if you're new here, please subscribe if you don't have to, of course, but it would really help me out in where I'm trying to get my channel to be. Make sure this autumn season, one of my most favourite times of the year, you make time for you, make time to really switch off, enjoy the very now, because sometimes, as we all very often know, that this life goes quickly. The year goes quickly. Now, I'm telling myself that there are, of course, elements of the year which go slow. We know that. But however, how often this time of year do we ever really, well and truly, make time for ourselves and in just to enjoy something just because, not for there to be any particular reason, but just to enjoy just because you can. It's really important in life to do something which is spontaneous. It's really important to switch off and do things with the people you love and you cherish. When I say time moves fast, no, of course, it doesn't. It doesn't go any quicker, but we get preoccupied. We get preoccupied with the pattern of life, with trying to move forward, with trying to improve, with trying to work towards something. And of course, one day moves on to one week, one week moves on to one month, and pretty soon the season's gone. And one of my most favourite times of the year, the autumnal season, which I always class for about late summer, right the way up till about late November. And of course, your autumnal season is beautiful. Take a walk. I've just been for a walk now. It's just got dark, but the sky is absolutely incredible. Where in some areas you see those reds, you see those oranges, you see a bit of a sunset, but yet it's crisp, it's cold. The leaves are still just on the ground where they've fallen. And you can still, still see some of the trees are holding on to some of them with amazing colours. And do you know what? I've lived in the same area all of my life, but this time of year, it's almost as though that I'm seeing new things. And I absolutely love the autumn season. For me, it's a time where I absolutely love to do some baking. I am a keen baker. Food in my family is very, very huge in terms of, I'm not saying we cook huge meals and things like that at all. My mum does that. She absolutely is an incredible, incredible uh, cook. Um, and my nan, very much so, absolutely. It, it certainly didn't run in the family. My nan, bless her heart, I, I don't have her anymore, but she has truly, truly left uh, a very golden imprint on all of our lives, and she's left some amazing recipes. Um, so this time of year, I love to do baking. Um, I have a tradition, which I haven't yet got to yet, with my second eldest brother, um, where we make pumpkin pies, and we do some we do some autumnal sort of baking, then getting ready for the Christmas season, we may do it again. Um, I love all of that. My mum, um, most days cooks and do you know what she never uses recipe books or anything like that it's just it's all in her head and she just can do it absolutely amazing um, my mum taught me my nan taught me um, my twin brother is a chef um, and he is absolutely exquisite what he can do with food um, it is sheer art it really really is um, and yeah it's, it's a beautiful skill it really really is so family um, in our, in our house is kind of uh, all around the table, that type of thing. Um, and it's lovely. And I think that that comes more true as you come into the autumnal season, into the winter season, making making way for, of course, the Christmas season. And you've got all these wonderful times where you come together. And I mean, I love to have family all together anyway. Um, but do you know, there's something about the autumn season. For me, it's almost like you've got the gates where you are starting to approach the latter part of the year. People start to calm down a little bit. Or they go the opposite way, where they ramp up stressing towards the festivities and the festive season. But for me, I like to look at it almost as that you're starting then to kind of evaluate the year. You're starting to kind of look back on the the, the three quarters of the year we've had. And we're in the, the, the last quarter of the year, of course. Um, and that's what I tend to do. So what I consciously try to do is I try to take a moment where I can. Not to write down everything what's happened in the year, although I do keep a diary and I quite like to sit down and I quite like to sometimes read through that. But um, it is so, so important to stop and just make time. Um, and that is such a simple thing, isn't it? But how often do we do it? And then when you when you actually come around to doing it, the summer's gone, the autumn's gone. You're in the last days running up to Christmas. There's so much to do. Everybody's so busy. It can easily run away with you. And then you find yourself always ever so slightly missing out on those amazing times. 
I often think to myself that when we get really wrapped up and busy and we are, whether it be for work, whether it be family, um, whether it be one thing or another, there is always a time to be able to what you're doing right now. There are most times in life you can put that aside. You can put that aside and you can come back to it. I can think of a handful of things which you can't. And of course, that's OK. That is absolutely OK. Fingers crossed, hopefully we are blessed with another day to be able to go again. And I truly do hold on to that. I am trying to sort of be more spontaneous, I think, as I'm getting um, a little bit older. Um, and, uh, and I really am trying to work on concentrating on that life is just as important as what I want to do with my life. And I hope that makes sense, that living life and the right now is just as important as what's on my plans for next month, next year, or what I want to do in like a three year or a five year plan. Me wanting to get my life to a certain place is important. It's important for us all. But it's also equally important to value life right now and not to put off those small things. So if somebody offers you to go and do something, don't keep putting it off. Do it. Because in that moment, you should cherish that. And that's what I'm trying to teach myself. That's what I'm trying to embrace. That actually, yeah, OK, I know it may be, let's say, for example, take an example, it may be Tuesday, it may be Wednesday. And you're there thinking, do you know what? I'm looking forward to the weekend. You may always be looking forward to the weekend, but yet you could be having a really great time of an evening, of an afternoon in the week as well. It doesn't always have to revolve around that pattern of nine to five work, um, working towards, let's say, paying bills, working towards a certain day in the month where perhaps that might be using your partner's sort of day where you spend, spend it together and do something nice. Or perhaps you meet a friend or a couple of mates once a month or once a quarter or whatever. Um, it really is important. And I think that's it really it hits home to me this season, especially coming up to Christmas. Now, Christmas so beautifully has a way of being able to enlighten everything special and, and so important in life and characterise it characterizes it so amazingly that actually it gives you the wake up call to think that actually this time of year is special. Enjoy it. Grab it with both hands. But roll back a bit before we're there. And the autumn season you look around, things are changing. You look around, summer's long gone. You're in this season, you're coming up towards the later part of the year. And I just find it almost has a bit of a power over us, or actually that when you look around, the weather's changing. No more is that warm sunshine. But yet, as that warm sun is gone, we are left with that warmth of, okay, what we had, but now let's embrace it and let's run towards all the amazing great things we have in the later part of the year. Because, of course, there are great things to look forward to, but yet today is really important to embrace and enjoy as well. So what I'm trying to say is, I mean, I love summer, but of course we've had summer. Many people have enjoyed summer holidays. Amazingly, I really hope you have. I love Christmas. I love Halloween. I love all of those sort of holidays. I love spending time with family. But yet just the, and I say just, the Monday, the Tuesday, of a starting off a week, a lot of people find that is quite gloom and quite sort of down. And then you say, um, sort of in the middle of a week, a Wednesday, because they're not quite at the weekend yet. When you're starting to have those feelings and you're starting to have those thoughts, for me then, it's really important to start looking at your life of what you can do, because you shouldn't necessarily be having those thoughts because life is far too precious to be going by weekend to weekend or month to month, year to year, season to season, or holiday to holiday. So I hope that makes sense. And I've been thinking about that for a long time. And I, I finished work today earlier and I went for a walk and I, and I just looked around and you know, I just took in everything around me. And I don't do that very often. And sometimes I'm stressing over many, many things. And as I say, I'm really trying to consciously enjoy the right now and embrace just how important the right now of my life is. It's just as important as the huge things coming up or the things I want to do with my life, or the milestone things I want to do in my life. So, autumn or season? Amazing. But to be honest, it doesn't necessarily matter what season it is. We find ourselves in autumn right now, which I love, and I hope you do too. So many incredible things, the colours, the pumpkins, baking, could be one of many things. You couldn't be going on a holiday this season. 
Do you know what? As I say, it doesn't necessarily matter what season it is, but what does matter is making time to enjoy the right now of your life. I hope that makes sense. Until next time, thank you very much for being here. God bless, take great care, and I will be seeing you soon. And if you haven't done something great this autumnal season yet, or you haven't taken the time to enjoy it, or done something special with your loved ones, your parents, your grandparents, or friends, mates, family, girlfriend, boyfriend, wife, husband, children, grandchildren, whatever, make time to do it. Thanks very much, and until next time, I'll be seeing you then. Bye-bye now.